Hey guys, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to reduce uh, hol holiday weight gain so that you can have fun, enjoy yourself, and not feel like a fat slob at the beginning of the year. Okay, a um, couple of things. The first is I use the word reduce because to completely avoid weight gain during the holidays means you're probably not going to enjoy your holidays and you're gonna be so caught up in like worrying about gaining weight that you're actually just gonna make things worse. You're not gonna have fun, you're not gonna enjoy the company of your family, your friends, you know, time off from work, all that stuff. So reduce is the best way to think about it, all right? It's pretty natural to gain five, maybe 10 pounds during the holidays, depending on, you know, what it is that you're eating and how much you're moving, which we'll talk about in a second. But in general, we wanna reduce it to about five pounds, all right? If you can do that, you've come out better than 99% of most people during the holidays, okay? So the very first thing is probably not a surprise, Okay, move more or the same if you're already kind of on your own little regimen. And some examples, walking, lifting weights are probably the best things that you can do, all right? Some people like to run, that's great, you can do that. Some people like to play sports like volleyball or you know basketball or whatever, that's cool too. I just gave two little examples there because that's normally kind of relatively easy to do. Um, and the reason why I say this is because during the holidays most of us don't wanna move, right? We're at social events, we're sitting down, we're eating, we're sitting down, we're eating, we're drinking, we're doing all this consumption, but we're not doing any type of movement, right? We're, we're moving less, we're, we're not really being active at all. So at the very least, if you can find ways to be slightly more active, it's going to help reduce the amount of total weight that you gain in the form of body fat during the holidays. So again, I'm not saying that you have to like go out and do a crazy workout before Thanksgiving unless that's your thing and you really like to do that. Um, but just try to stay active because the tendency so much during the holidays is to basically just become like, you know, just become a couch potato because you're only resting or only eating and, and hanging out on the couch and watching movies and stuff like that, which I think is fine. But again, if you can try to keep that balance during the holidays, you're going to see a lot better results at the end of the holidays. When you look at your you know, you're how much you weigh and you're like, holy crap, that was 10 to 15 pounds more than I was at the beginning of the holidays. All right, the second one is probably like the best philosophy I could give you overall for holidays, which is be mindful of how you snack, but just in general, be more mindful, right? During the holidays, a lot of times we are less mindful of how we eat, how much we eat, things like snacking and just overeating because there's so much food and you want all of it. And sometimes like things like Thanksgiving, you don't get that food hardly any other time during the year. Like who eats stuffing during the year, right? Very few people. Um, so they're gonna be like, oh, I wanna eat as much as I can. And I get that, but let's try to be more mindful of that type of mindset and just try to catch ourselves in that thought loop. Because the more we can catch ourselves in those moments, the better we can have uh, control over what it is that we're doing. A lot of times, just in general, the, peop the reason why people get fatter and, you know, and just continue to gain weight is they're just not being mindful and taking action over overeating, right? It's a simple kind of equation that the, the more you overeat, the more fat you're going to gain. That's just how our bodies work. So being more mindful of how you snack is important because during the holidays, a lot of times if you're at a Thanksgiving uh, dinner, or if you're at a Thanksgiving party or a Christmas party or Christmas dinner, they're gonna have appetizers, hors d'oeuvres, whatever you wanna call it. And a lot of times we would just, you know, like sometimes people just eat just to have something to do or because it's there and it's like, I can't avoid those potato chips or I can't avoid those corn chips or the, you know, the, the dip or whatever it is. I get that, but the more mindful you can be where you have some, but you don't fill up on it, the more likely you are to reduce the amount of weight gain that you have by the end of the holidays. So just be more mindful. Try to catch yourself in that thought loop whenever you're going, oh, I'm just eating mindlessly, right? You're not really thinking about, you know, how much of that snack you're eating. All right, so number three is gonna be keep food portions at a normal size slash small. And I'll explain what I mean by small in a second. So during Thanksgiving, during Christmas, your food portions are gonna be huge, right? I mean, you look at a typical Thanksgiving dinner plate and it's like two separate servings of food for the most part. And I get it, I mean, it's Thanksgiving, we're all excited to be eating, you know, like a crap ton of really, really good food. Um, but if you can try to keep your portions small and go on the principle of having a second serving as, as an option, I think you'll be much better off because what's naturally going to happen if you have a normal serving size of the food, like a, a normal plate, like sometimes, the plates basically look like a trough, like 
you know, like these big round oval plates where you're just putting and stuffing as much stuff on there as you can and just, I'm just eating it nonstop. If you can just grab like a normal plate or a normal size plate or try to portion based on, um, you know, try to not portion based on the plate if it's a big plate, um, you're gonna have a much better time. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that's all you can eat, but if you have a normal portion of food, a normal plate of food, and you're still hungry, go get seconds. But there's a very psychological kind of anchor to eating the food that's on your plate, right? A lot of times it's how we grew up. Our parents told us, hey, you can't leave the table until you finish everything on your plate. Like that goes on in our head. Like for me, I always think if there's food on my plate and I'm not eating it, that means it's wasteful. And I don't like to be wasteful. So I have to continually make sure that I get enough, but not too much. And it's, you know, it's not too much work to have to do that, um, but it does take a little bit of work. And then, you know, some of us, from a social standpoint, if we have food left on our plate, it can feel disrespectful. Like we can think people are gonna be like, oh, that's disrespectful to, to, to leave a bunch of food on your plate, right? So there's a lot of psychological kind of nuance that goes on with portions and, you know, leaving food on your plate. So the smaller the portion that you can have per serving, the more of these psychological hangups you can avoid, right? If you finish all the food on your plate and you're still hungry and you go get a little bit more, that's not that big a deal. But if you have this huge plate of food and you get through like barely half of it or even half of it, and then, you know, there's a whole bunch of food left on your plate, you're gonna feel some kind of obligation, right? Most people are gonna feel some kind of obligation to finish that food. And you wanna try to reduce that amount of psychological kind of, again, that psychological roadblock that a lot of us will get into. And I, I speak from experience specifically for this, but working with clients more and more, the, the more I see that this is kind of a universal thing for a lot of people. So on the small end, if you have a small single serving, like a, you have a plate and you have small portions, again, you can always go back. You can always get more food, but it's harder to put a bunch of food on your plate and not eat some of it than it is to have a little bit of food, finish it, and go get a little bit more. So try to operate on that spectrum. Again, I'm not saying you have to limit how much you eat, but I am saying give your body, there's also some things that go on like with satiety, right? Your body needs about 10 to 20 minutes to really get the sensation from your stomach or your, for your stomach to tell your brain, hey, we've had enough food. If you finish your portion in five minutes and go get a second one, but by the time you get to the second one, you're halfway through, you might feel a little sick. It's probably because you didn't give yourself enough time to eat. So when you're eating, have a good conversation, listen to people, be mindful of how often you're taking bites of food, things like that. Um, and the more calm, collected, and mindful you can be, the better you're gonna have during the holidays when it comes to consuming food, okay?